of almost half a million dollars. We did some 80 percent new district for me, and he fired me successfully from the Texas House. So I just want to tell you, I am Wayne Christian. I'm the only Christian in the Texas legislature. And at the next session, there won't be a Christian in the Texas legislature. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, 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 thank y'all for what you do. Uh, we, we're ready to take Texas back to what Texas values are. And I know there's a lot to look at in Washington. Indeed, we're looking at that now. But let me tell you, keep your eyes on Texas. Keep your eyes on that Texas capital. A lot of times we take for granted because we are the best in the, in the nation. Can you imagine if we're the number one economy in the entire nation, that makes us the number one economy in the entire world right now. And as bad as it is out there, I cannot imagine how the rest of the world or states are existing as it is. Because let me tell you, people aren't real happy in my house. Obama sent our one developing industry. We find it. Listen, I grew up in Tenney Hall, Texas. That was right beside Panola County, uh, Northeast Texas. And they had natural gas back when I was growing up, okay? So I, we didn't and sh never had a mineral in our life. So I grew, grew up where the dirt road turned to blacktop going to Panola County, okay? <laughs> they always had the big gyms, the good uniforms and all this. We had nothing. Well, all of a sudden, because of natural gas, they struck some veins there in East Texas, and the Haines and Shell came over, and we finally got a couple of motels built in Center, Texas, and we're real proud. You know, Obama came in with the DPA rules, and they've been all gone away. And he tell you, folks, and they ain't coming back. We're sending 100,000 jobs this month to Canada to drill for natural gas. And you just think, that this crazy. But don't take for granted that everything's wonderful in Texas, because if Obamacare goes through, and if we wind up with any part of it, it's going to hit us like crazy. Last, let me tell you this. The reason we're in trouble today is because there's not enough people like you and me that care about government. Y'all realize in this last election we had that we had a 10% voter, registered voter turnout. Understand that's registered voters. You understand only half of those eligible to vote registered to vote. That means only 5% of your friends and neighbors. One out of 20 of your other friends, neighbors, churchgoers, family, and friends get off the couch even to vote. And the number's going to be even less than that. So that's what I hope tonight to charge people. That our vote, not only in this election, is going to be worth 20 votes, your one vote. It's going to be more than that for this wrong. It really is. But we have a battle to fight. We have set back and allowed, and let me tell you, the answer to the problem, I hate to tell you, ain't the Republican Party nor the Democratic Party nor the Libertarian Party. It's when we as God's people turn back to Him. That's something that's going to be something that we have got to instill that it's not immoral, improper to bring up the name of God when we have a Tea Party rally. Amen. One thing that came out that, that they just wrote that said the Tea Party movement in great part is a revitalization of the Reagan revolution of Christian conservatives. In other words, the name of this book, and I saw it, you probably saw it on Fox News, because Fox is the only call takes any truth and puts it on the airwaves at any time. And it's called the Tevang the uh, uh Evangelical. Because what they're finding out is while they try to keep moral and government politics separate, that the Tea Party that ninety percent of the folks that show up are church going believers. Amen. And so Amen. that's who we are. And I'm not ashamed of the bit, and we're not ashamed as tea partiers to stand up. There's right and there's wrong. And you take the U.S. Constitution, you take the Holy Bible, and you put those together, and that tells you about 90% of what needs to be done and how to vote and how to vote. Amen. Okay? Amen. And so thank y'all for letting me be a part of everything you've done. It's been a privilege, and I, I am, I'm ready to go on the war path. Let me give you an invitation. I, I've been honored to, during the last session, I don't know if any of y'all ever watched any of the YouTubes I sent out from the state capitol about what was going on. Uh, when I first got to the uh, last time in the state Republican Party, uh, I was the platform chairman. In that, uh, and I, I see some of our platform committee members are here, and we had in there uh, a, a list of rules of, of legislation, and we're going to have a report card before the election. Because I was told by one of the party officials that they wouldn't ask a politician to follow that platform if they had to. And I'm sitting there going, we have spent years and volunteer people, thousands, go up every other year to this convention. And we work our tails off, and they, when we leave town, take that platform, clink their glasses, and throw it in the trash can. Well, they cratered that one on me. They sent that one to the trash can, never did get out. How dare me do such a thing? What an idiot to sit here and ask for us to be accountable as voters in the Texas legislature and the U.S. Congress. 
And then we get there, and all of a sudden, we're told, uh, I started doing these little videos, and just interviewing folks, and y'all kind of watch some of them. Well, we got a, we got a base up of over 10,000 names. And it's because of the faith of people like you that trust us. We've got about 9,300 that opened their emails when we sent it out. And so I got beat last month. I, my lips was drooping, dragging the floor, and I figured I'm finished. It's over with, darn it, I've been beat up, and all this kind of stuff. And so I had Charlie Garza, a good friend of mine that was on our platform committee when I was there, is a great patriot, a hero. It was Ronald Reagan's man that walked in with the secret messages from the military every day when Reagan was president that now teaches school out in El Paso and was on the State Board of Education, and like me, they redistricted him out of business. So he calls me up and said, Wayne, I'd like to serve as education commissioner, and he just retired. I said, hey, fine. I had to use my email thing. I'll send it out and see, you know, I'm, I'm no finished up has been. And I'll send it out and just recommend your name uh, to that people call in and recommend to the governor you be education commissioner. So I typed up a little deal and sent it out my email I hadn't used in a while. In three hours, I get a call from the governor's office. Representative Christian, don't you know that you're respecting this office and you can let us know any time? I'm sitting here, yeah, y'all have really called me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day at 2 o'clock, I mean, this is from Senator Texas, I'm sitting in the chief staff office of the governor with the head legislative director, said, we watched your video, Mr. Garza, do you think he could probably handle the job as education commissioner? I said, well, he handled the job for Ronald Reagan in Washington. I would think he'd be kind of capable of doing that. You know? and, I, and of course, we had Michael Williams come out. He's a great guy who wants it, too, and all this kind of stuff. But it dawned on me that somebody's listening to that little email I sent out. So what I want to do is to, to let you know it belongs to you, the people. I mean, it's us. It's, it's our communication. But they kicked me out because they don't want you knowing stuff. Now I can share 15 years worth of being inside that place and say things that I never <laughs> <laughs> But you got to sign up. And the way you sign up, if you're not on my email list, and this is still political, I ain't running for office no more, but it's Texans for Wayne Christian. Texans, which is you, for, which is F-O-R, and I do that for all the public school graduates like me. Texans for Wayne Christian dot com. Just go there and sign on to the newsletter. And what are we having videos and radio broadcasts and other stuff I'm working? And I'm, I'm thinking what we need in Texas, I'm trying to money buying everything. Big money Amen. buying everything. Phil, uh, uh, our, our past great senator, uh, Phil uh, Grail, told me that 15 years ago, he said, Wayne, what you need to run a political office is going to want to get your picture made with a pretty family. If your family ain't pretty, go get you a pretty family and have your picture made. <laughs> and you get a dog in the picture. He said, get a dog and put a dog in the picture with a pretty family and get your picture made. Then you start raising money. And you raise money, you raise money, you raise money. And in the last 30 days, the person who spends the most money wins 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. Folks, I hate to tell you that's true. One out of 20 people go to vote. They make up their mind in the last two days from a 30-second commercial. Doesn't matter what it has. Say it. And like the speaker and his group did against me, they ran a quarter million dollars in the last week of negative ads, mailers, 13 mailers, Wayne's a jerk, he's a sorry, good for nothing. I mean, they didn't have to do research, they got to ask my wife that, and she'd have told them. <laughs> <laughs> so, the truth is, the negatives are out there, people believe it, and that's what they, they, they know to go and vote. Now, it's sad. It's sad because people say, well, if you don't want to get in the heat, stay out of the kitchen. If you don't want to, you know, you know politics is dirty, and dirty is politics. And I want us to stop and think a second, second, as uh, to evangelists. Why have we allowed that to happen? Amen. Right. Why is it okay that if I lie about you, if I slander your name, if I, I ruin your reputation in the community by spreading lies about you and ruin your business in the community, you can sue my butt off or you'll get fired if you're doing that anywhere else. But if you're a politician, you get elected and we put the name Arnold in front of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, uh, Wayne Chris, Texans from WayneChristian.com, sign in there, put your uh, email address on there, and I'll see what other ruckus I can create in the next year or two. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.